All right, so this is gonna be my update video for my uh, for my dorsal slit surgery I had, which I had about three years ago. In February of, January, February, February of 2019, I believe. Okay, so I kind of wrote down just some of the questions that people have asked. So I can kind of say after this amount of time, like what I, what I think. So, um, people always ask, like, so they always ask, how does it, how did it heal? And it healed fine. Now I, I no longer, I have zero pain. It's no longer even a thought in my mind. Before the surgery, I would always, like, you know, when I was about to have sex, I would always think about, like, oh, this is going to hurt, you know, you know, kind of, or something like that. Now, I have zero thoughts of that. I can just focus on what's happening. So it healed fine. Um, they asked about the, the the skin. So so I don't I don't believe I have loose skin. Um, it's my whole the entire uh, like my what do you call it the head the head of the head is is not fully covered anymore for me um the the top part is just is, is is out the so it's it's like you know it's kind of like uh <laughs> kind of like 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 a pillow or something like that you could say i don't know it's it's like it's covered but the it would be something like this like it's covered but the the top is open and it just like how my hand is the extra skin it's a little it hangs barely but it's not something that would be noticeable and that's only when you are flaccid when you're erect you you literally look like you are circumcised if nobody's seen it nobody would know that you had a surgery <laughs> to 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 um a partial a partial circumcision surgery it looks just like you're circumcised so know that so when you get the surgery it, if if you are worried about a partner your partner saying you know she doesn't want to because it looks weird you look circumcised so that wouldn't be an issue when you're on when you're soft when you're flaccid it looks it looks different it looks like the part of partial circumcision uh so yeah um someone asked about smegma uh yeah that um a lot of times yeah that one won't be an issue you can easily pull your skin back um it, it doesn't hurt you don't at this point almost three years don't even think about potential pain it's just it's just something that I, um something that 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 i could do <laughs> um the difference. So to me, the difference between a, a circumcision, a full and a partial is it's a, it's not a people we, we think about what, you know, what our girlfriend or whoever may think, but it's a, it's, you got to think about, about yourself. So I, I think that I'm not pro or anti either, either, or, but for me growing up, always having foreskin to me, it made more sense to keep it. I heard from people, you know, you know, that say that they said it's ugly. And one thing that I want people to remember that I think I even forgot when we like, oh, like the skin hang, things like that. When you have foreskin, your skin hangs already. So that shouldn't be the deciding factor, at least for, for me. That wasn't the deciding factor. Now I look, thinking about it, I'm like I had I had my skin used to hang before I even had the surgery. But now, obviously, I don't have that problem. But but um. But yeah, it was, it's never been a problem, never affected anything, and it shouldn't be holding some of you you guys up from getting the surgery. Um, the, the sensitivity. So for me, um, yeah, I think that it, it's better. It's better. I I can't act like I'm noticing like a a crazy crazy difference, but for me, from from before the surgery, I think now. What makes it better, and I've mentioned it before, is if if you had like how I had 
like the famosas in the past, literally when you were going to start having sex, there was like your mind, your body was all nervous because you know, like when your skin goes back, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt a lot. Now I don't have to think about that. When you're literally just in the moment, it's better. So if you want to get a partial or a full, know that you're eliminating that problem because it, it sucks. And obviously it's not something that I recommend or, or don't want nobody to deal with it. They don't have to. Uh, someone asked about the cost. So I actually got it. Um, I, I, where I work, well, yeah, where I was working, it, it's, um, it's free for me. So I didn't, I didn't pay for it. So I can't, I don't know that answer. Uh, and then am I satisfied with the result? Yes, yes, yes. I, I should have done it sooner. <laughs> I should have done it sooner. Um, I personally will never get a full circumcision because I don't need it. I, um, yeah, I don't, I don't even think about it. Never been in a situation where someone else has said like, what's, what's going on or anything like that. Cause I, once again, to you guys do not worry about that. And I've said it before, any girl that already wants to have sex with you, she is not going to change her mind because when you're flaccid, you have uh, a partial circumcision. If first, if you have foreskin, you probably had no problems then. I didn't have no problems, so I'm sure you didn't either. So it's exactly the same. And like I said, when you're when you're erect, you you look um, you look like you fully you look like you are fully circumcised. Someone was he mentioned um, it hurts pulling it back when it's hard and soft. So should he get, uh, like, should he get a partial or a full? So I'm obviously I'm not your doctor. You, could, you should talk to one. But what I would say is either surgery is going to help relieve the pain. <laughs> is the pain's going to be gone. Because when, at least for me, when they cut mine, they now, like I said, it's always open the top. So the skin can go back very easily. It is zero pain. Um... I think the big thing that I just want everybody to know and to really take away is that the surgery is for you. It's what you're okay with. There, it does not, even if it does, even if it looks good, bad, whatever, to, to whoever, nobody that already wants you is going to tell you no because of that. And like I said, when it's erect, you look circumcised if that makes you feel better. But remember, anyone that's watching this, you're probably partial, you're probably uncircumcised. And people will judge that already. So it's not something to be worried about for for aesthetics or whatever. Cause I don't I don't really get it anymore. But at the time I, I was I had these same these same thoughts, these same worries, but when you get the surgery, make sure you take your time. At the time when I got mine, I may have mentioned that I had like rushed, kind of not rushed, but like kind of rushed out of sex, and it like made the healing process take a little longer. So I just recommend uh, take your time. Make sure you heal when you first. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just make sure you take your time and that and that uh, you follow what your doctor says. Um, don't let nobody tell you which one's better or worse. Make that decision for yourself. And for me, like I said, it came down to, do I want foreskin or do I not? Nothing more than that. So when you make this decision, that should be your question. If you don't care, when you're when you're fully erect, you won't, it will look circumcised anyway. So if that's all you care about, then do that. If for me, it was just, uh, I had foreskin, I don't want to get rid of it. And that's what I did. So make sure you're, you're, you're thinking about everything. If you have any more questions, let me know. I disappeared from my YouTube, <laughs> but I'm coming back. I'm going to be doing other things too. So I will be more active with, with questions like I was when I first started. And hopefully this is informational for you. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, That's it. See y'all soon.